hello welcome back if this is the first video you are seeing in the playlist please kindly go to my youtube channel there's a playlist titled igcse math paper for 3 may june 2024 there are five videos there for questions one to five okay so question 6a the diagram shows a ladder gh on horizontal ground leaning against a vertical wall hf gf equals to 1.5 meter and h f equals to four meters calculate the length of the ladder g h so here you can use our pythagoras uh, theorem okay so you can just say that uh, g h this is the hypotenuse okay so g h equals to square root of this right away that will be g f squared plus h f squared so that will be equals to 1.5 squared plus uh, 4 squared. So if you input this into your calculator, so you should get GH to be equals to uh, 4.27. That will be GH. So 4.27 meters. So of course, it's the longest time. So it's the longest side. So it should be, the answer should be greater than 4 meters. Okay, so part B, W is 120 meters north of V. So you can do something like this. This is um, V, something like this. Okay, this is the north and then, okay, so this is vertical. Okay, you can just do something like this. Okay, no troubles. And uh, for W2, you can do something like this. Okay, for W, you can do something like this as well okay good so calculate the bearing of v from w so the bearing of v from w will be from here up to here so that means the bearing of v from w will be 180 plus uh, let's say this is theta so plus theta so that'll be the bearing okay so we need to find uh theta so using um what's it called this is opposite this is adjacent so using tan theta so you can say tan theta equals to opposite that is 50 over 120 so uh theta will be equals to tan inverse of 50 over 120 so you can actually do this straight away and you get your answer so here so we need tan inverse Tan, uh, tan inverse so shift then tan inverse is this so we need a fraction then to be 50 okay out of 120 so you can close the bracket sorry so we need to uh, come out here so this so if you hit enter so you should get the value of your theta to be 22.6 okay so this is equals to 22.6 degrees so we put um that's the value of theta so the bearing okay will not be so uh the bearing of v from w will not be equals to 180 plus 22.6 okay so that will be 202.6 degrees okay so let's go to the next part that is uh, part c in the collateral a b c d uh a d equals to d c as shown here and equals to five centimeters so you have five centimeters here five centimeters here a b is equals to b c and angle a b d a b d this angle is 25 degrees okay and b a d b a b a d so this is angle BAD is equals to 15 degrees. Okay, calculate the perimeter of the collateral ABCD. So it will be this uh, the addition of the four sides AB, BC, DC, and AD. Okay, so we already know uh, AD and DC. So you just have to find AB, and that will be the same value for BC. Okay, so uh, using this triangle here, that's triangle A. B, D, so we can actually find uh, the uh, the unknown side, okay, that is uh, 
side BD, okay, or uh, uh, sorry, the unknown side AB rather, okay, so we can easily find that. So, but we need to find this angle first here, okay. So, let's find um, angle ADB, okay. So, angle ADB will be equals to 180 degrees minus 15 degrees minus 25 degrees okay so because some of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so this will give us 140 degrees okay so now that we know the angle here so this is one four zero okay so we can now use sign rule okay to find the uh unknown side a b so that will be a b over sine 140 degrees okay that is the side over sine of its opposite angle then it will be equals to 5 over sine 25, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So let's write here. So we have AB to be AB over sine AB. So sine AB, uh, AB over sine uh, 140 degrees, rather, to be equals to 5 over sine 25. So if you cross multiply and make AB the subject of the formula, so that implies a b is equals to 5 multiplied by sine uh, 140 degrees over sine 25 okay so a b will be equals to so we can input this into our calculator straight away so let's rub off this so we need a fraction with this fraction then we have 5 multiplied by sine 140 degrees let's close this bracket so and the denominator is sine 25 degrees let's close the bracket here hit enter so that um, gives 7.60 so that means a b is equals to 7.60 so if a b is equals to 7.60 so that means you have 7.60 here so this will also be 7.60 so the perimeter will be the addition of everything which we can also write like this the perimeter will be equals to 2 into brackets addition of the two sides that is 7.60 and uh, 5 okay so that means we have four sides two of these and two of these so this will be uh, 25.2 if you input this into your calculator okay so let's go to the next okay. question so let's put the answer here 25.2 so let's go to the next question that's part d uh pqrs is a collateral calculate angle uh pqr angle pqr so we want to get this angle you can say this is theta okay so what you can actually to find this angle here we need to know pr okay so because from pr uh, we can easily use cosine rule to get the theta here so we need to know pr so the first thing is to find uh pr okay so as i usually say you don't need to write the formula so if you know what uh is happening around the formula so you can easily write this so since i want to find pr so it should be pr squared okay just follow this pattern pr squared it should be equal to uh this sum of uh the sum of the squares on the other two sides that will be 11 squared plus uh, 8 squared they are minus 2 times the product of the two 11 and 8 okay then multiply by cos of what the um, angle opposite to this side that is cos 1 1 0 okay so you can uh, simplify this okay straight away so before then what you can do is this um, you can input this into your calculator straight away and that will give you your answer okay so uh pr okay equals to square root of everything now that is the pr we need okay so it will be 11 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 into 11 into 8 then cos multiply by cos 1 1 0 okay so if you uh pick your calculator so you can actually do this straight away so we just need um square root let's put square root first then let's put all of this there 11 uh, squared 
okay then add h squared okay this then minus let's see this 2 into 11 okay into a okay then multiplied by cos this is cos 1 1 0 so let's close the bracket so you hit enter so the answer is a 15.6 uh 58 okay so you can write 15.6587 okay for now so don't approximate here okay so you can just uh don't approximate it to uh three significant here okay so 15.658 so we have 15.658 okay so that's pr so this is 15.658 okay that's pr now we can now find this using the same uh method that is we have to start from pr squared now so we are using this triangle okay so i will say what can i do so let's demarcate this okay good so from here i can say pr squared so pr squared so equals to 10 squared plus 14 squared okay so minus 2 times product of the 2 that is 14 then cos theta so but i found uh i know pr so pr equals to 15.658 so i can just remove this and put 15.658 squared okay so now what i need to do is to make this the subject of formula cos theta so for that reason, I have to bring it to this side. So it will become, let's say, 2 into 10 into 14 cos theta, okay, will be equals to, I have 10 squared plus 14 squared, okay, here. Then I have to bring this to the other side. That is minus 15.658 squared, okay. So now to make cos theta the solar formula i have to divide both sides by 2 into 10 into 14 so cos theta so it therefore be 10 squared plus 14 squared minus 15.658 squared then over uh, 2 into 10 then into 14 okay so then we cannot say theta <laughs> is equals to this is interesting cause inverse of everything here so i can just say 10 squared plus 14 squared minus 15.65 sorry 658 squared so over 2 into 10 into 14 okay then everything like this so you can actually input this into your calculator and you get your answer so let's do that together okay so let's rub off this so we need a uh, cost inverse that is a shift cost then we need a fraction so let's pick this fraction so we have 10 squared then add 14 squared sorry one is missing 14 squared then minus uh, 15 point six five eight squared then let's come down to the denominator so we have two into we have two into ten then into fourteen okay fourteen let's close the bracket then let's jump out of the denominator so let's put the bracket here so each enter Oh, syntax error so let's see what's the problem there so let's see to okay instead of this let's use a uh, multiplication for the denominator so let's remove this i think that's the issue there so it will be this so we have two times ten times sorry zero is missing two times ten then times for 14 okay i think it should be okay now so let's hit enter now okay, so we have 
um, 79.541 um, so if you leave this to three significant figure so it will be 79.5 so 79.5 so that will be uh, the value of angle P Q R there okay so uh, that is the end of my solution to question 6 in the next video I will solve question 7 until then have your fingers crossed